As you can see, Jamba is making himself quite comfortable on our couch. Right, buddy? Yes, good boy. Now, one thing you have to understand about dogs, especially Cavaliers, on furniture. Once you allow them up on the furniture, you have to accept the fact that you will have dogs on the furniture forever. That's okay. We always make sure that we have something that's durable. The fabric is not going to suffer from having dogs come up on it. Uh, we like to have our Cavaliers on the couch or on our chairs because they are lap dogs. They are companion dogs. And especially in the winter, they help keep you nice and warm. Just to update you on Jamba's um, housebreaking training, we now allow him lots of free time, and he is only in the crate when we can't supervise him. If, for example, I go to take a shower, get dressed, something like that, and if one of us can't be with him, he'll go in the crate. And he's fine. I give him a little treat, put him in the crate, which I'll show you in a minute. And uh, he, he's absolutely fine with going in the crate, and he'll stay there, and he'll take a nap for a while. However, while, he, while we are here with him, we like to um, have him out and keeping us company. So, we allow him to be loose. Now, he hasn't yet learned to jump up on the couch, but as I said, I kind of have to expect that he will learn how to jump up on the couch on his own, and that's okay with us. Other than that, if we just leave him alone on the floor, he will usually settle right down where Bootsy is now, on the floor, at our feet. Right, Bootsy? Hi, Boots. How are you? And if I turn around, there's Snapchat also making herself at home on the couch because we have allowed them to do that. Now, if I want to put Jamba back in the crate, if I have to do something and I can't be around to supervise him, and I will tell him, Jamba, would you like a treat? Do you want a treat? Yeah? Then, of course, I have to go get a treat, because if I don't get a treat and give it to him, then he will very soon learn that I'm not serious when I use that word. So, I'll go get a treat. When I do this, I have to also be aware of the fact that all the other dogs know that this is the treat closet, and so they think that there's something for them. However, Jamba, you want a treat? Jamba, go crate. Jamba, go crate. Jamba, go crate. Good boy. And then if I close the door, and even better, cover the crate with that towel, he will take a nice nap. But if he has to go out while he's loose, we're supervising him very closely to make sure he never has any accidents, then he will actually let himself out through our doggy door and go do his business and then come back in. Of course, if I want to make sure that he's gone, I can also say, Jamba, go out. So, Jamba, say goodbye to all your fans and admirers. You say goodbye.